What's up everyone? Chris from Duckalope Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a video for y'all on how to install an anchor trolley onto your kayak. All right, so what I did um, is I ordered a H2, H2O kayak anchor trolley kit from Amazon. Um, it only costs about 20 bucks, so if you're looking for something super cheap, uh, that's the place to get it. Amazon right now with the coronavirus, you just got to look out. Uh, they're, I guess, stopping shipments only for like medical supplies and uh, high priority stuff. So if you do order it um, right after I post this video, of course, it's probably not going to be, be able to ship for a bit, but uh, at least give you something to look, you know, and put and keep in the cart. All right, so I'm going to switch this video around. I'm going to show you all the uh, stuff that comes with it and also where I plan on placing everything on the actual kayak. Okay, so these are the parts that come in the actual kit. You have the cleat, so this is going to be installed next to where you sit. It holds the line in place. You have the pad eyes. One is for the front of the kayak, one is for the rear. You have the pulleys. So uh, this is where your anchor line is going to run through the, run through it on the front and to the rear of the kayak. These are your carabiners, which is going to be attached to the actual pad eyes and to the pulleys. So it kind of connects everything all into one. Uh, this right here is your round rigging ring. So it's pretty much essentially uh, where you're going to attach your actual uh, anchor. Uh, your anchor line up to this and that's where it's going to be pulling it to the front and to the rear of the boat. Uh, so it does come with bolts and nuts if you want to do it that way. If you're connect, um, if, where you plan on putting all this sort of stuff is accessible from the rear end where you can attach the nut, uh, then you can do that. Or you can use a rivet. I like using the rivets because it's super easy. All I do is just put some silicone around everything. Of course, don't forget to use the silicone when you're drilling into your kayak. Because if you don't, then obviously water can seep in. And if you have an, um, an open kayak and it's not like a sit on top or something like that, of course you can flood. All right, so I went ahead and laid out the pieces that's the rope that it comes with. You can replace it out with 550 cord if you want, because uh, they do make camo 550 cord if you're hunting, uh, if the black bothers you. Uh, this right here is almost like just a regular old nylon rope. Um, nothing special to it. I'll probably switch it out for 550 cord. All right, so this is how the pieces are gonna look once you install it. So this is gonna go on the rear of the boat. What I'll do is go ahead and mark off my holes. You want it as closest to the stern and to the bow of the actual kayak, so that way it pulls your anchor line to the furthest point of the kayak. So that way it kind of, um, that's the whole point of this actual kit, is to get it to either to the, to the rear or to the front of the actual kayak. So you want to install these pieces as far back as you can get it. Um, so pretty much I'll put my O-rings on them. I'll go ahead and crimp them down so that will be installed. This is your line. You're going to tie off your string on both front and back of it. This, uh, your cleat, I'm going to put up here. Now watch it um, when you go to install this. Some people put them up on top. Um, that can get caught up on things. Um, or if that's just your preference, you can have it up on top. You can really install it anywhere. Just watch it if you do have a sit on top kayak and I've ran into this issue before with my last one, is I installed it too high up and uh, almost in line with the way I uh, use my, my paddle. So my paddle would smack it, uh, especially if you've got a bad habit for rubbing the side of the boat when you paddle. So I'm gonna install mine a little bit further up and uh, right along with the actual ridge, so that way it's nice and tight and clean. And then the front, the bow of the boat, it's gonna look the same. I'm gonna get it all the way up here, all the way up on the front. Um, and then we'll go from there. There you have it, folks. So riveted in, got the cord running down here. Now I could go ahead and put another pad eye in this area. It's kind of in between uh, both of those just to keep it a little bit more uniform, keep the line from running up or down the boat. <clears throat> All right, with this side, or with the cleat, I ended up going with the screws. Um, it's just a little bit easier than running the rivet. 
up in this area just because with the 12, H12 and the H10, you have the styrofoam piece and I don't want to take mine out because it's, it's not moving. I've heard some people of theirs moving, but mine's still stuck in place. Um, so that's why I went with the rivets and the bow and the stern. I went with the screws in this area. All right. So I got it as far forward and far back as I can. If you're new to kayaking, pretty much what this anchor trolley does is allows you to attach an anchor to this, an anchor with an anchor line and a carabiner, because you clip the carabiner onto this, and either keep it in place right next to you, or you can run it all the way up to the front, which is the safest, because that's where you want to anchor off if you're in a boat or in a kayak. You always want to anchor off the the, uh, the bow of the vessel. So that allows you to do that without having to get up and attach it to your front um, your front handle or whatever, because it's kind of dangerous. So, um, and then once you're done, you can bring it back to you, unclip it, and get paddling. Now, the reason for putting it in the back, what I found is if you're working the current, the wind, if you're hunting, fishing, whatever, Sometimes positioning it in a certain spot will cause your kayak, like let's say we're like this, and we got you know the current either coming you know behind us, to the side, whatever. By positioning the anchor off certain points of the boat, we'll get it to turn a certain way and go with it. So that way, if you already placed out your decoys and the current's changing, you know, because we're going from you know four or five o'clock in the morning to you know, now we're setting our anchor at six because it takes us an hour to set up decoys. Then, you know, the current's been already changed on you and you have a certain place of where you want to have your kayak to hold. So then you can mess with your anchor and have your boat look a certain way. So that way you're not shooting off the, the side of it or trying to shoot from behind you. Um, but that's pretty much it for the anchor trolley. It's, uh, it's useful and uh, very helpful. I am gonna end up running after disconnecting this cord and doing this video, I am gonna put some pad eyes um, in between the actual cleat and the rear uh, the rear part and put a pad eye in the front and pad eye in the back. So that way we at least keep the, uh, the rope from popping up over the side of the boat or dripping down, um, you know, dragging in the water, especially if waterfowl hunting, the water's super cold. Obviously, you know, it's gonna freeze up the ropes. So just trying to prevent a little bit of that if you can. But I do appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe. We have a Facebook and Instagram and obviously a YouTube channel. Um, just trying to grow it, get the information out there as, you know, as far as we can. There's tons of information that we don't know and tons of information that we do know that we're trying to spread. Um, you know, we're not in this for making tons of money or anything like that. It's all about knowledge because you can't learn everything just on your own. It's always nice to learn stuff from other people too. But I uh, appreciate y'all. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like it, if you like the content, if you want me to do something else um, or more in-depth and detailed stuff, uh, just let me know. But I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have an awesome day and stay safe out there.